Hi folks, let's have a look and see what was new on Netflix from the 19th to the 25th of October. First up is the return of the cracking of the Da Vinci Code. This is a, an interesting documentary that sees Simon Cox investigating Dan Brown's novel and having a look at how it actually links to the history of the Holy Grail. Stonehurst Asylum is a creepy British thriller with Michael Caine, Ben Kingsley, David Thewlis and the wonderful Kate Beckinsale about a young doctor who arrives at an asylum for an apprenticeship and becomes suspicious of the methods used. Disney's Saving Mr. Banks is the story behind Mary Poppins, at least from Disney's point of view, with Emma Thompson and Tom Hanks. Emma Thompson plays the book's author, who is resistant to Disney's advances to turn the book into a movie, the Disney way. Comedy Results arrives. This is a fitness comedy set around a gym and two folks falling in love in the gym whilst pumping iron and stuff. Sounds exhausting. American crime drama, How to Get Away with Murder, appears. There's one season of this so far. Gets pretty good reviews. Might be one to have a quick gander at. Cheerful and tearful Disney animation, Brother Bear arrives after a brief hiatus. This features Rick Moranis, Joaquin Phoenix, and Michael Clark Duncan about the brother of an Indian brave killed by a bear who vows vengeance. Season 3 Join season one and two of Hemlock Grove, a scary horror series about daily life in a small Pennsylvanian town called Hemlock Grove, where the darkest evil hide in plain sight. Mediocre Bollywood dance em up, whom sath sath hain, or we stand united, about an evil lady who plans to cut off her disabled stepson from a family fortune, creating a division within the clan. A taut and enjoyable thriller with Judy Foster pops up called Panic Room about a woman and daughter who are caught in a game of ta- cat and mouse with burglars in a New York City house as they are forced to hide inside a panic room they have just happened to have had installed. Season 4 of American Horror Story pops up. This is Freak Show joining seasons 2 and 3. Annoyingly, they don't have season 1. It is possible that you might not be sick of Back to the Future this week. However, Back in Time, a 30-year retrospective documentary about the blockbuster franchise, has arrived. Didn't get great reviews. However, it might be required viewing for the completest. Some utter rubbish from John Carpenter appears. Ghosts of Mars stars Ice Cube, Jason Statham and Natasha Hendrickson. A fairly interesting premise that they managed to get absolutely nothing out of. Mona Lisa Smile is a rather girly looking drama regarding social issues in the 1950s as women judge how well they have married. Resident Evil Apocalypse is the second in the long running franchise of movies based on the hit games. This one again, directed by Paul W.S. Anderson, stars Mila Jolovich as the sword slashing Alice. Three seasons of anime Bleach arrive about some superheroes that round up lost souls. Ask Me Anything is a romantic drama about a teenager who writes an anonymous but highly revealing blog about her sex life. Sounds awful. Magi, 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 whatever you want to call it. The Labyrinth of Magic uh, is another anime TV show from 2012 in which a land of mysterious ruins and magical treasure await a young Aladdin to hunt through and have the adventure of a lifetime. And finally, my pick of the week is Kung Fury. This 30-minute short is about a Miami detective with ninja superpowers who travels back in time to kill Adolf Hitler in an arcade game-style war. It's cracking. It's one of the most fresh, original movies we've seen in a long time. And I went on to have a hit game, and it's just pure, unadulterated joy from start to finish. Doesn't overstay its welcome. Highly recommend checking this out. Well, thanks for watching and remember to check out what's new on Amazon.